everyone, it's Sherry Carroll here with SimonsStamp.com and I have a card for you where I'm going to mix a bunch of patterns together without it being too overwhelming. So I'm starting off with the Corbel die and this is from Simons Stamp and it's a really beautiful tree. It's a Corbel tree and also some Yuletide paper from Tim Holtz. I'm going to put both my rectangle die and the Corbel tree die together just lining them up really well and then I'll use some post-it note tape to tape them together. So if you wanted to mass produce some cards, you have your two dies together and you can just do it in one swipe. So once I tape these together, line them up, then I can go ahead and die cut my paper and I can save my die again to do for another card. Okay, so I have ran this through my die cut machine and I've also added a little bit of foam to the back. And as you can see, I still have my two die pieces together where I can clear out those papers and use that again to mass produce some cards. But I also have a printed paper down here which I'm going to set behind the tree and I'm just using some peeled paint, distress ink, and my blending tool and I'm just going to make sure I have enough green to where that tree really pops. By lifting up the front panel it'll give it a really nice depth and it gives it also a little bit of shadow. So I'll continue adding some color to this paper and then I'll trim it down and put it to the back of my panel. Another pattern that I want to add is the circle doodle stamp and I have a top folding desert storm card that I've created and I'll be using some white ink on this and I'll just be stamping on the top portion. So I'll just tap this on just in the area that I need. I don't have to cover the entire stamp but you can see the pattern really coming out. This is a really fun pattern to add for any background and I really love the white on the Desert Storm. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay the top portion of my card right onto the stamp. I have a piece of paper towel here. You can use any type of scrap paper. And now I'm just going to press that paper right into that stamp. I find this easier to do it upside down or this way because I can see right where I'm going to be stamping. So once I turn that over, I have a really nice light pattern of that circle doodle. Next, I'll be introducing some stripes, and I have also cut this from the Tim Holtz Yuletide paper. I kind of played around with the sizes. I cut the paper about an inch and a half, and I also have some of the Tim Holtz tissue tape that will go right along to hold that down. So now I have several patterns all at once, and it's not too overwhelming. They all blend well together. I do want to add a message to this, so I'm using my mini Misty just to get some alignment going on. Decided I'm going to put my tree to the right side a little bit. I'll be adding a bow before I stick everything down. But using the Misty is really great if you already have part of your project done. You can just go ahead and peel off your stamp. And this is the holiday message strips from Simon Says Stamp, so I can line that up onto my Misty. And now I'll be using some intense black ink to go ahead and ink that up and stamp. The Misty is really handy if you're going to be doing a design first and then you're going to be putting your message last. You know, in this case, I wasn't sure where to put my placement. But it's super easy. Just go ahead and stamp that out right onto your card. And now everything will line up. So I'm adding a linen bow now. I've wrapped that around that front panel and I am just doing a bow like I tie my shoes and once I get that tightened up then I kind of fluff the bow out and straighten everything out and then I can clip off the ends with some scissors. I've added another layer of foam tape. I've also left a gap for that ribbon so that foam tape will sit right around in, and then let that ribbon go in between. So I'm just getting my alignment here and I can go ahead and press down that centerpiece and then remove the rest of the adhesive backing. So here's a look at my finished card. I really love how all the colors and the patterns really flow well together without being too busy. It's also nice to add a little bit of dimension as in this Corbel tree where it pops up from that background paper. So I hope I've given you some inspiration on holiday cards that you can mass produce.